Hey guys, it's Flippin' Friday. Stick around to see what I sold on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel if you are a previous subscriber. If you are new here, my name is Heather. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, The Real Real. Instagram, Marketplace, all kinds of places. So I go to consignment stores, thrift stores, garage sales, things like that, pick up stuff for cheap, and then I resell it online for profit. Well, I am a volleyball coach, I'm a volleyball player, and I also am obsessed with Disney. My kids are Grace and Ryan. They are 13 and almost 16, and we homeschool, we love it. It's so nice um, for flexibility is probably my favorite thing about it. We don't homeschool because of the pandemic, we homeschool because we have for a long time. <laughs> Um, there was quite a difference. I really did feel bad for parents who had to try to school their kids at home, but doing what the school told them to do, because I feel like that'd be a whole different story. Like we like to homeschool because we want to do what we want to do. Basically. <laughs> I mean, I really think every kid learns different. My son for sure uh, needs more hands-on. He is not made to sit in a desk all day for eight hours. And I think that's true for a lot of boys. So I'm really glad that we can do that here. And we can school our kids in the way that we choose to. So I am going to go through my sales here. Um, I have my, I'm in a different spot, I guess, if you can't tell. It's a little room. That's like my laundry room back there, um, slash storage room. And this is where I keep my shipping supplies. And I have um, my desk with my computer for shipping. And I have like some storage games and like totes and stuff like that. So um, anyway, I'm doing it in here because usually I do it upstairs with my other computer, but my son's using it for school. So I'm using this computer to go through my sales. Anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, so I am gonna be looking over here at my computer. I try to not be too much like looking off the camera, but it's just gonna be the best way. And this computer dies like within seconds if I take it off the charger, so I have to leave it plugged in. Yeah, it's kind of old. Um, anyway, Facebook Marketplace, the first thing I sold was this Kate Spade striped tote bag. I just picked this up recently. Actually, I didn't pick it up. I got it sent to me. It was in a Thread Up Designer rescue box. Um, it was okay. It wasn't, it had a little bit of markings and not super expensive quality wise, just because it wasn't like a leather purse or something, but I did still sell it very quickly for $25 on Marketplace. So that was good. Um, the next thing I sold was this North Face Purple Puffer. The next thing I sold was this North Face Purple Puffer Coat. This was mine for a while. I actually got it at a thrift store a while back. I wore it for a couple seasons and now I found a new one. So um, I sold it for $30. So that was great. And then I sold this Zaya Active white short sleeve pocket tee. Zaya Active is still selling very quickly for me. Um, I actually posted about it on my Instagram that I sold it so quickly. And I had a few people message me and said that you probably priced it too low, but I actually don't think I did. I think... I mean, the tees sell for around $20, $25. It just is a brand that's selling really fast right now. So um, it sold for $20 within minutes, and that was great. Um, next, I sold this Athleta Dark Gray Essence Tank Top. This was, I think, in a size small or medium, and that sold for $15. So Marketplace, I do charge shipping right now. I just use whatever shipping they have on there based on weight. Um, the next thing I also sold very quickly was some Rock Revival denim shorts. These were in a size 30. They were, like, cut off, just mid-rise classic style and they sold very quickly within a few minutes for $25. And the last thing I sold on Facebook Marketplace was another Kate Spade purse that I got from that Thread Up Rescue Box. It was uh, called the Larchmont, br not brown, black leather crossbody. It was a small purse. Um, purses do pretty well for me on Marketplace. So that sold for $40, which was my full asking price. So on Marketplace, you can put that you accept offers. Um, you can put the lowest that you will accept or consider. And you can also put, you don't accept offers, but people will still send you messages all the time trying to get you to go lower. So just be prepared for that if you do list on there. Okay, let's move on to Mercari. So on Mercari, I sold these um, set of like shampoo, conditioner. It was called Caratis, I think. It was um, fine hair and it was a pack of four and I sold these for $99. Actually, I think I had these for like over a year. I kind of forgot about them because they were up underneath all of my purses and I just recently like organized the top of my coat rack where I keep my purses. I'll try to insert a picture here if I remember. Um, 
Anyway, so I hadn't really been lowering the prices that much, but they sold for $99, which is amazing profit because I think I paid like two or $3 each for these. So that was good. And then I sold these Vans Galaxy Low Top Sneakers. These I sold recently. I mean, the same style, not these same ones. Um, they always do pretty well for me, around $20, $25. These ones sold for $23. Um, next was a pair of American Eagle Mom Denim Overalls. These were a light wash and they had like a button not really a button fly, but it was like up the middle. They were in a size zero long, so small size and kind of unique. Um, but they sold fairly quickly within a couple of weeks for $30. And then I sold this Duluth Trading Cool Freedom shirt um, in a green color. This was men's and I think it was just a size large. I thought I would try it because I found it really cheap and I figured right now people are going to be out hiking trails, stuff like that. And that sold for my full asking price of $25 overnight. Next was a pair of Can Can Fringe Hem High Rise Denim Jeans. These sold very quickly for me. Um, Can Can's been doing really well for me lately and they sold for $27. Another pair of jeans that I sold were these one teaspoon jeans. I found these at the Plato's Closet, 50% off sale recently. I think I paid seven or eight and they sold for $48. And then I sold this Kalia Carrie Underwood floral bikini within minutes. This sold for $30. One of the pieces with new with tags. I'm not sure if the other one was, so I did mention that in my listing and I added pictures. Um, so yeah, that was a great quick sale. And then I sold this Athleta purple empowerment tank top. This was strappy fitted style. This sold within an hour for $20. And then I sold this Torrid Navy Blue Drape Front Open Cardigan Sweater. This was in a size 2X. This sold within a day or two for $32, which was my full asking price. And the last thing I sold on Mercari was this new Unique Low Men's Dinosaur Graphic T-shirt. This came in a Men's Threat Up Rescue Box. It only retailed for $14.90 and I sold it for $15 plus shipping. So <laughs> I sold it for basically what it's worth, I guess. So that's pretty cool. So that was Mercari. If you do like these type of videos, I would remind you, if you can please push the thumbs up button down below for me, it really helps my channel. I am continuing to slowly grow and it's been so fun. So if you can do that and help me out, that would be amazing. Okay, we're gonna do Poshmark next. Poshmark, I feel like was pretty good. It's been off and on lately where it's not steady all the time, but then it comes back around and it is, oh my hair. So I'm turning 40 next month and I talked to my hair lady, which I don't usually do anything with my hair, but I told her I want her to like change it and just do something fun. So we'll see what she comes up with. Basically, I said I don't want it to be drastic and I don't, I still need to be able to put it into a ponytail, but that'll be fun. Okay. The first thing I sold on Poshmark was this Catherine's blue V-neck pleated tunic top in a size 1X and this sold for $24. Next was a pair of Vionic Olive Green Espadrille Wedge Slingback Shoes, maybe sandals. Uh, I think they had a, I don't know if they had a peep toe. I'm not sure. Anyway, those sold for $22. Next is a pair of American Eagle's 90s Boyfriend Distress Shorts. American Eagle Distress Shorts are selling very well for me right now and pretty quickly. Um, not for a ton of money, but they're selling fast. So these ones sold for $28. Um, you want to look for the newer label, which I'll also try to remember to put up here. That does seems to do the best for me. I'm not even really picking up much of the other ones anymore. Next was an Anthropology Farm Rio Linen Tropical Skirt. I did pick this up at a Goodwill a, about a month ago, maybe for $7. Um, when I got home, I realized it was supposed to have a belt and it didn't. So I think that made the value go down a little bit. And I still sold it for $40. And then I sold this Isaac Mizrahi, I think is how you say it. They were lemon print shorts. These were new with tags. Uh, when I picked them up at the thrift store, I did my normal Instagram poll. Lots of people said, don't get them. I did anyway, and I sold them for $35. <laughs> uh, next was a very Bra Vera Bradley Floral Loves Me purse. I was going to put this, um, I actually, maybe not. I was going to say I was maybe going to send this to Thread Up, but I can't send anything to Thread Up for like the longest time. So I'm kind of like giving up on that for now. And the, anyway, it sold for $23. Next was a new REI rose pink Sahara hiking shirt. This was in a size 2X and it was new with tags for women. And that sold for $24. And then I sold these Gymshark 24-7 gray drawstring shorts. These were super popular as in they got tons of attention on all of the platforms I was listing them on. Lots of lower offers. I wanted to wait out and hold out for $25, which is what this person sent me. So I went ahead and accepted that. And so that was great. 
Oh, before I forget, I did sell a little Kate Spade wallet off of one of my videos to a viewer named Beth, I believe. She messaged me through Instagram. So Beth, if you are watching, thank you so much for that purchase. It's always nice to be able to sell something off platforms and quickly before I even had to list it. So thank you, Beth. Um, next was a Madewell Orange Everest ribbed sweater. This was in an XXL. I actually bought this, I think, in the summer thinking it would be great for fall and I had it listed pretty high and it sat around forever. So it finally sold for $17. So that was fine with me. Um, next was a huge bundle, but not huge dollar wise. So I'm going to go through and let you know everything that I sold. A lot of it was from a men's thread up rescue box or multiple boxes, which is great. Um, the first was a Calvin Klein black gradient V-neck sweater. That was from a men's thread up rescue box. Next was an Athleta Illuminite illuminate maybe be illuminate coral striped short sleeve top next anthropology akimi and kin streaks short sleeve top anthropology porridge gray cowl oversized sweater express gray pullover button cotton front sweater marona blue long sleeve thermal casual shirt j crew blue gray brush flannel shirt all three of those were from men's throw up rescue boxes so is the next one. H&M pink long sleeve casual shirt. Urban Outfitters gray crew neck pearl sweater. Anthropology Moulinette Sewers. Is that how you say that? Uh, gold dress. Have had it over a year. Glad to move it. And a Drake Rue blue velvet mock neck tank top. And these all sold for a bundle price of $148. I earned $106. So that was great because it was a mix of a whole bunch of men's thread up stuff that wasn't the greatest that I had listed for cheap. And a mix of stuff that I've had for a long time that I had eventually lowered prices down. So I was really happy to move all of that. I definitely still made profit on it, not a ton, but to be able to move that much inventory at once was great. And it didn't weigh over five pounds, which was also amazing because otherwise I would have had to have paid extra for that, which would have sucked. Okay, let's get back to my list. Okay, next is a pair of new Vionic black leather Carmen sneakers. These came in a thread up shoe rescue box a while back and they sold for $55. Here comes my furnace. <laughs> um, next was the ASOS Curve Fairly High Rise Slim Mom Jeans. These were in a plus size, I think a size 22 and they sold for $21. I thought I would sell these quicker and for more money, but I just didn't. ASOS is hard to move for me. Next was a Cacique um, Flesh Tan Plus Size Bra in a size 38C. And that sold for $24. I sold this Roar Purple Western Button Up Studded Shirt. Um, I think this might be sold at the Buckle. I'm not sure. And it sold for $32. Next was an Athleta Black Honeycomb Pullover Sweater in a black color, size medium. And I also sold that for $32. I sold this Lululemon Long Sleeve Purple Devotion Top. This sold for $20. Next was a new with tags loft rainbow vertical stripe tank top. I got this a while back thinking it was super cute, even though it was loft. I still can't sell loft very well. It sold for $12. I paid $3.50 for it, so whatever. Next was a pair of Banana Republic vintage straight jeans. These came to me in a men's thread up rescue box and they sold for $28. I sold this Vineyard Vines gray, yellow, Shep gray pullover. I already said gray pullover sweatshirt and that sold for $28. Next was a Rock Revival Scarlet Jeans. These were in a really tiny size, size 24. They did sit around for a while, even though they got a lot of attention. Someone sent me an offer of 30, so I went ahead and took that. Next was another item from a men's sweat up rescue box. It was a pair of Vineyard Vines, nine inch breaker Barracuda shorts, and they sold for $25. And then I sold this Patagonia Blue Sunwash Stripe Maxi Skirt. I got this quite a while back at a TJ Maxx clearance sale. And I sold that for $27. And then I sold this bundle of Torrid High Rise Fleece lined leggings and a Torrid Blue Harper gauze button up tank top. And those both sold for an offer of $42. Okay, I sold more on Poshmark than I thought now, <laughs> apparently. Next was a pair of Evolution and Creation diamond crop leggings for a, just a short little bit. I was getting this brand because somehow the first couple that I sold sold quickly for like 25 bucks. Now they've been sitting forever and selling cheap. So they sold for $12, glad to move them. Next was an Eileen Fisher red open cardigan sweater. This was a cotton cashmere blend and it sold for $35. And then I sold these Vince Blue Warren slip-on casual sneakers. These came in a thread up rescue box. They only sold for 15. 
I don't know, Vince shoes don't move. The whole brand actually is just not doing as well as it used to for me. So still glad to move them. They were a little bit dirty. I couldn't really get them cleaned up. Um, next was a Clover Canyon multicolor printed short sleeve top. I've had this for a super long time and it only sold for $13. So I've only found Clover Canyon once before and it was a dress and that did really well, but the top not so well. Next is a pair of Prana gray Midtown Capri pants. These were drawstring, just nice casual style and a size extra small. And they sold for $18. And then I sold this Anthropology Florite um, white sleeveless dress and that sold for $16. Next was a pair of Fabletics white high-rise ruched leggings in a size small, and these sold for $27. I sold this Anthropology Maeve Sun Palm Red Sheer Top. It was kind of a button-up style, size small. That sold for $12. So some of these lower ones, I'm basically accepting almost every offer I get because I can make money and move items out. Um, next was a pair of Mott and Bow, which is a brand I've never really seen sold anywhere, but they do have a website. They retail for a pretty good amount i think over a hundred dollars and these were some just straight leg denim jeans and they sold for 20 bucks next was a j crew navy blue regent linen blazer in a size 10 and that sold for 36 dollars i sold these rock revival gray celine skinny jeans these were in a size 25 and they sold for 35 dollars and then i sold this new super down rainbow striped mini dress this i got at a local department store clearance for only $5 and I sold it for $50. And then I sold this Perry Ellis dark purple short sleeve polo. This was in a men's thread rescue box. It sold for eight, which whatever, I mean, that brand is nothing I would ever get when I was out. Next was a Figura and Flower printed sheer multicolor top. This sold for $20. I sold this Lily Pulitzer Barbara Daisy lace white gold dress in a size zero for $40. This next item was a pair of shoes. They were the Kate Spade black leather deck shoes. They were in a size seven. They were new with tags with box. I got at a local department store for $25 and I sold them for $90. And then I sold these Dansko Elise blue teal comfort walking shoes for $21. Next was the Torrid gray short sleeve maxi dress. This was in a size one X and it sold for $22. And then I sold these vintage Levi's 550 high rise mom jeans. Those sold for $38. Catherine's black V neck short sleeve shirt. This sold for $12. It was in a size two X. And the last thing I sold on Poshmark this week was a bundle of lucky brand brown leather flats and an ivory Ella new short sleeve t-shirt. And they sold both together for $45. So that was my Poshmark sales. One more eBay sales. Thank you for sticking around and watching this video. Hopefully you're getting some listings done or some shipping or something like that. That's when I like to do my videos. Okay, the first thing I sold on eBay, hopefully none of these are repeats from last week. So if you notice it, like, forgive me. I try to look back and make sure that I don't um, post anything. I mean, say anything twice, but sometimes I get confused. Um, anyway, Victoria's Secret Leopard Push-Up Bra. This sold for $20. Next was a Footjoy Men's Navy Blue Orange Short Sleeve Casual Golf Polo, and that sold for $20. I sold this Coach uh, Cream Wool Three Button Coat. This sold for $60. I had it listed for over $100, but being that springtime is here and winter is over, I accepted $60 because I am glad to move out coats anytime during the spring and summer months. Next was a really great sale. It was the brand, I don't know if you say Mila or if it's the, um, not abbreviations, initials, M-I-L-A. Anyway, is what it said. Los Angeles Brown Suede Tote Handbag. This sold for $90, which was my full asking price. This was randomly on an end rack at a Goodwill recently for seven bucks. So that was amazing. It was new with tags. Next, I sold a pair of vintage Levi's 501 black high-rise mom jeans in a size 29, and those sold for $40. I sold this pair of women's Saucony, is that how you say that? Purple, green, silver shoes in a size seven and a half, and those sold for $20. I sold these Nike shocks, which kind of like that uh, 90 style. They were pink and orange, the Turbo 6, and they sold for $35.88, which was my full asking price. So these Vionic gray studded willow flats, and those sold for $20. 
I sold this brand Olukai, I think is how you say. I've been selling it a lot lately. It's a Hawaiian brand made for sandals and flip-flops. And these ones were just like a black, they weren't leather, just the regular whatever material flip-flops are made out of. <laughs> and they sold for $30. Next was a pair of Patagonia men's stripe blue swim trunks. They were new with tags. I got these from a TJ Maxx clearance sale or Marshalls or something like that. And they sold for $40. Um, next was a vintage 1980s ski bum, navy blue, three, four sleeve shirt. This was just a kind of odd, weird shirt I picked up at the thrift store, but it was from 1980 and it had a cool graphic and I couldn't leave it behind. So that sold for $18, but it sold within a couple of weeks. So that was good. Um, next was this brand L4. It was a women's espadrille slide sandals. I have no idea of this brand. It did come to me in a thread up shoe rescue box. They seem to be fairly good quality and good condition. So I listed them and they sold for $20. Next was a pair of Gitano, Gitano, how do you say that? It's like an old 90s brand. They were a pair of black velvet like Christmas shoes and I sold Christmas shoes in April for $20. So that's great. Uh, next is a pair of Jeffrey Campbell Haviana gl Glitter Silver Slip-On Ballet Flats. These came to me in a thread up shoe rescue box. I've had these before. They don't sell for much. They sold for 15. So glad to move them. And then I sold this Travis Matthews teal striped short sleeve casual golf polo in a size extra, extra large. And that sold for $20. Nope, $25.88, my full asking price. Looked back. And the last thing I sold on eBay was this Chaser white camel sleeveless tank top. I picked this up recently and that sold for $18. So that is all my sales. I would like you guys to comment below and let me know what your best sale this was what your best sale was this week. I also do something a little fun on my reseller page where I do a Flippin' Friday post to post your best sale. So if you like Facebook, you can come join me over there. All of those links will be down below for my different groups and my different pages and all of that stuff. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. Hope you make great sales and I will see you guys soon. Bye.